Uh, I got bored of the white background, so I decided to do like Khan Academy and make a black background. Let's do number four of 3.8. Okay, I need to put it into standard form, so I'm going to move that three across. So I have five a squared plus three equals zero. I'm going to identify my a, which is five. Identify the b, which is zero. C, which is 3, and then I'm going to put it into my quadratic formula. x equals negative b plus or minus square root b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. Okay, let's go ahead and substitute. So we have negative 0 plus or minus the square root of 0 squared minus 4 times 5 times 3. And then I have 2 times 5. Okay, so x equals plus or minus the square root of. We have a negative and a positive and a positive, so I end up with a negative. So 4 times 5 is 20, and then 20 times 3 is 60. Let me make sure that I got my calculations right. Yep. And then divide it by 10. Okay, let's take that 6, negative 60, and split it up with the negative 1 and 60. So that becomes positive and negative i to the square root of 60 over 10. Okay, let's go take the 60 and then make a factor tree. 2, 15, and then 3, and 5. So that 60 is made up of a 2, and a 2, and a 3, and a 5. And I always like to check, so 2 times 2 times 3 times 5 is 60, yes. And then we can take a 2 out, and so it becomes plus or minus 2i to the square root of, I'm going to go ahead and multiply 3 and 15, the number that stays inside, and then I can reduce. So we have a 2, and we have a 10 here. Those are both divisible by 2. So it's by 1 here and 5 here. So plus or minus i to the square root of 15 over 5. And that's my final answer. Yippee! This parabola has imaginary roots. So therefore, it never crosses that x-intercept. Yippee!